Hello and welcome. This is H with John and I'm teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Again, back with our Music Buttons 1 project. Alright, so this is what it looks like when it's finished. And you go in here, the settings. Shape type. We're going to choose square, instrument type, and we're going to change it to uh, piano. Alright, and when you go back to your thing, you notice it's square. And it plays piano sounds instead of clarinet sounds. So that's what we're creating. Uh, it looks similar to what we started with, but it's got a lot more functionality. All right, so let's get back into here and look at some new things. All right, first thing I want to look at is the activity main. And this right here, we're going to talk about the toolbar part first. All right, so let's go in here. Um, this is adding settings activity to your app. Uh, you need to create a toolbar or action bar with the overflow settings menu and then use this to trigger your settings activity. And this is the line in your Java, intent intent equals new intent, this settings activity dot class, starting activity intent. And you'll see that uh, as triggering uh, the uh, settings menu here in a second. And this is the settings activity class, which we have yet to create. This is the settings activity Java. Uh, now what the seven activity will do, it will load a fragment. And we'll talk about that again here in a segment, a preference fragment here uh, that will exist on the same page. And from there we will inflate the pref heading, which will contain our options. Uh, create an XML resource in res XML called pref headings and this is the code for that and again we'll talk about that here and again after I get done this quick review uh, and this the top uh, here and because these are the arrays we needed to create the top will be used to show to the user the options and then the bottom is used to pass the information on. And again, we're going to talk about that here in a second. And this is array two, because I use two arrays because it, it was just simpler to do for explanation purposes. And then of course, we've got the other files. Um, and again, these will all be up in my website. And I'm also going to be posting them on PDF file that you should be able to simply copy and paste into your, uh, your uh, Android studio if you so desire. Uh, the resources you can see very very little change very little there styles again very little change very little there the colors file again very minimal here's the activity main again like i said the only thing we've changed in part two here is that we've added the toolbar and i want to come back here to the activity main to both your activity mains your landscape and your uh portrait you need to add this the ID toolbar and that will add the toolbar which basically is our toolbar so let's turn to our settings activity now this here is what I call a preference activity right here extends and if you look down here the preference fragment now rather than use the preference activity I'm going to use the preference fragment to display and list the options the reason behind this is that fragments are supposed to be more flexible when it comes to the use of a user interface and uh, when you're interested in reusability notice here that our preference fragment uh, uses this right here the add preferences from resources and notice that it indicates the pref underscore headers all right so we've got this line what we need to do next is take care of our views basically that data that we will use and the information the user will see uh, we'll have to create an XML resource file and define our preference objects uh, these will act as subclasses within the preference class what I did is I created an XML resource in res uh, XML uh, called as you may have already guessed pref headers although uh, I should point out the convention is that the file should be called preferences.xml okay so now let's look at our pref headers uh, now you'll notice here that I use list preference uh, this opens a dialogue which uh, has a list of radio buttons 
but there are a variety of other um, options that you could have used. Uh, edit text preference, uh, which would op have opened a dialog with an edit text, and you could have uh, changed the value and stored that as a string. Uh, for instance, check box preference uh, shows the checks box um, with a Boolean, true or false if checked. Uh, there's a several uh, other options you could have used, but for our purposes, we're just gonna use list preference. One of the important things to note is that this will save values uh, using the key value pair system into a default shared preference file. And you, you will be able to use this and also retrieve this using the Android key. And if you'll notice here, I've got both of these list preferences with a key and a different name. Now I'm using these list preferences and I'm assigning the information entries and entry values from these arrays. And let's go look at those arrays now. Um, let's look at the array, not the array two. So the top string list array. Now what happens is you will see these items at the top when the menu is uh, spawned, but these will be the returned values, one, two, and three. And it's the same thing with array two. You will see these top values and these will be returned. And those will be stored with these key values. So that's, that is how that works. It's very important. And actually, I broke my arrays up into two different arrays. Uh, you don't necessarily have to do that. I just did it because it was, for me, simpler. All right. So that's all that we're going to be really be looking at for this tutorial. When we come back in our next tutorial, we're going to look mostly, I believe, at just the Java uh, that's involved in the main activity and how I made uh, uh, some decisions and made things work uh, so that it would it would uh, do what it does. So we have that to look forward to. All right, this is H with John teaching another Android Studio tutorial and projects. Uh, I hope you learned something and I hope you walk away with a little bit more knowledge and ability. Uh, glad you can join me. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you around.